in the North Bay. The CHP says an overturned big rig on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge has now been cleared, but the traffic backup remains. Crown Force Teresa Astacio is live at the scene and joins us now on the phone with the latest. Teresa, just describe what's going on now. Well, Ken and Pam, it was unbelievable. As Lawrence was mentioning, we had those high winds, and that is exactly what the California Highway Patrol said. And you can see the pictures yourself. There was a big rig, and it was mid-span, heading eastbound on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and it just toppled over 1145. And you know, a big rig like that doesn't just topple over. So that just gives you an idea of how strong those winds were. So that shut down the entire bridge affecting so many people. CHP came out here. They put up, they put um, tow trucks to block the wind so that they could right the semi truck back up, tow that off. But in the meantime, that affected everyone out here. There was a backup that was just mammoth on 580. I took some video and you could see it was going back about five miles if you came off the bridge and then you went along Bellum here in San Rafael, and you could see just how bad the backup was. It took until about 525 to reopen the span. So right now, it's back open. That is um, very much appreciated for so many people that use that span. So 1145 is when it shut down. 525 is when it reopened. So it was quite a mess for a long time out here in the North Bay. Ken and Pam? So the backup is still there eastbound on the uh, Richmond San Rafael Bridge? It's pretty much cleared up, so that's a good thing. But there's still some residual trying to get to the Bay Bridge because they had a lot of cones out here for a long time. So it's going to take a little bit of time before it is kind of smooth sailing in this area. Yeah, the winds even coming in on the Bay Bridge were awful today as well. Uh, what's it like out there now in terms of the wind? Well, it was really frightening earlier. I was out and about, and it just was rocking my car back and forth. It's really died down, and that's why the CHP says that they were able to get the truck off and then allow it to eventually reopen. So when the wind started to go down around 4 o'clock, Pam, that's when CHP says that they were hopeful, and that's exactly what happened at 525 reopening the span. Hmm. All right, uh, Teresa Stasio live at the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, and traffic is starting to move again.